All right, so I got a question here. It says, um, Barn Aram and his Muslim apologists do claim that early Christians saw Jesus as human with the latest of Gospels, John being the only one to explicitly call Jesus divine. The Trinity, as far as I can tell, appears to be developed over a relatively long period of time with the actual word trinity coming into use about 140 years after Jesus or after Christ's crucifixion. Is there any evidence that Christians held Trinitarian or Trinitarian-like views before this? Also, on the other hand, are there any writings that, uh, that are clearly Ebionite or do we or have more traditionally Jewish view of Jesus as the Messiah very early on? Yes. Well, let me go through this. Uh, Christ deity I mean Christ de the kind of two questions getting mixed up in the first one Trinity and, and deity um, we see the Great Commission Father Son Holy Spirit uh, we see this used throughout we, we hear, see words like Godhead uh, Trinitas yeah is used by Tertullian as you're um, implying it here uh, I don't buy that John is the last gospel. What's the first piece of Christ, first scrap of Christian writing that we have? It's the Gospel of John. Well, a piece of it from about 115 to 135. You know when our earliest gospel of Mark is? Our earliest manuscript. 300. They do these guesses at these at these um, for the dating of the Gospels. Mark had to be written before the fall of the Temple. I mean, even the very uh, Bart Ehrman-like scholars will concede that. And then, but they also always try to put. Thomas early on because they can't fit in any other things early on. Uh, we see John in the school of John blatantly called Jesus God. Uh, what's the earliest heresy that's being dealt with? Well, you could say it's the Judaizers in Galatians. But outside of Paul, what's the earliest heresy? It's docetism. If Christ did come in the flesh. Look at the earliest heresies that were the most virulent. Marcionism. Marcionism. Valentinianism. Valentinus claimed to be a disciple of Paul. Uh, we see the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit throughout the canonical Gospels. And the canonical Gospels are by far the earliest. I mean, the Trinity doesn't get made up out of thin air. It's the Son is called God. The Father is called God. Uh, and the Holy Spirit is called God, yet there is one God. That's basically it. Uh, you have the Magi in Matthew worshiping Christ. This is the one of the most. They, I mean, people straight up say, "Well, there wasn't two Matthews. There's one, and that's the Matthew that we have is the Ebionite Gospel." That's the Gospel of Ebionites. That's the Gospel of the Nazarenes. Uh, check out something like James. Now, when people contest, oh, see, James and Paul conflict. No, they don't. They're speaking of faith as two different things. James is referring to faith and belief as just kind of things that are known. You know, and it is really uh, kind of preaching to uh, preaching against the rich for the poor to hear. Paul is, is a more universal message. 
And when they get together, they don't disagree. Uh, the word Trinity, I mean, the word homo, homoousia was it's really the Sibelianists or the Manichaeans were using that. Uh, it, it, it's not a perfectly fine word to fit the purposes of Christianity for the last, uh, what, 1800 years? But um, the most virulent heresy was not Abionites. It was, I mean, at one point, most of the bishops were Marcionites. It's people going around saying, no, he was fully divine. He didn't have a flesh body. And this is, people think adoptionism comes from the Abionites. It, not really. It comes from the fact that, okay, we know this guy, Jesus, walked around. Was he the Christ? The Christ came into him, but the Christ wasn't crucified. It was away from him. He was trying to split this. You can even see this if you check out uh, Pandora's box. His, his form of uh, Valentinian Gnosticism was Jesus and the Christ were not blended. Jesus was not the Christ, but the Christ was somehow through Jesus. And he has this adoptionist view. Uh, he actually claims that Mark is the uh, is Marcion's uh, eviscerated version of Luke, which I don't buy, and I don't think any other scholars do either. Um, but even people like John Dominic Curson and Marvin Myers mock Thomas, saying, no, we see all the corrections that have gone through, through Q and into Luke being the uh, being in, in Thomas, and Thomas is far too late. And then they try to say, oh, the end part was tacked on. Where? And then you even get people like Milton over at uh, Yale saying, oh, well, we have quotes from Thomas and people mentioning Thomas. I can think of five things right off the top of my head that are called Thomas. You have the, the Infancy Gospel of Thomas, which is popular, which we even see a, a um, regurgitating of that in the Quran. You have the um, Hymn of Thomas, which winds up in India, I believe. You have, uh, I believe, uh, a couple of epistles of Thomas. Bulk of Thomas is some synoptic material. And anyways, if people want to put that early, you're dealing with Gnostic stuff. You're not dealing with a, a truly man that is Christ. You're dealing with a apparition. I mean, immediately, I mean, did, did everybody get their stuff from Marcion? I mean, immediately Marcion says, no, this Paul has been doctored with. Paul did not believe Christ came in the flesh. So, I mean, th that's the shocking thing, is that when you go through and you read the New Testament, what gets canonized is the earliest stuff. I mean, out of all the stuff that we recovered, and we have Acts of Paul and Thecla, Ex Peter stuff like that. Boom! The earliest stuff is in the is in the uh, New Testament canon. The one thing it doesn't have is the Didache. But I mean, even in these other things, you see Christ getting worshipped. You see, or the infant Jesus getting worshipped. You see Thomas saying, "My Lord and my God." You you, you hear um, Paul continually mention Jesus. Our God, the, uh, our uh, our God, the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, as if it's in one breath. Uh, yeah, you could say we, we don't get of, of one essence with the Father until later, until Nicaea or something like that. But I wasn't cooked up. That's what these people believe. Uh, and even if you look at the types of Christianity that didn't make it, they. Might not use the word Trinity, but they still said, "Yeah, Christ, full deity, and the Holy Spirit was was uh, was God." But they were kind of emanations off of God. I mean, just check out any of this stuff. Uh, the Da Vinci Code gets it dead wrong, where they try to say, "Oh, the Gnostics believe that Jesus was just a man." The exact opposite. Don't, I mean, not even the the Ebionites would have him as some type of. Maybe not equal to the Father, but quasi-divine, some strange thing like that. The only 